you know, unto the Lord. So he had to process it over time. Mm -hmm. Do God like seeds that are processed over time? No, I, I don't believe he does. I believe, you know, God speaks to us and we, we hear God. You can hear when God is pulling, but then there's that otherness that will try to come in and say, well, what about this and what about that? That's the processing. When you start to delay and start to contemplate and start to um, justify within yourself, well, should I do this or should I do this or what about this or what about that? That's that processing and it delays time. So, and I don't believe God likes that, you agree? You know, um, in the Amplified Bible, it says, in, in the course of time. Okay? Um, in the Living Bible, it says, when it was time for the harvest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this can also be something else as well. Wow. When it was time for the harvest, mm -hmm. Cain presented his crops as a gift to the Lord. Yes, sir. Okay. But there was something missing with this kind of gift. Right. Evidently, the gift did not fit the system. It didn't fit the pattern. Mm -hmm. That's right. Even your gift has got to fit the pattern yes. correctly. Mm -hmm. So read on Prophet Ascent there. We were in Genesis 4, for those of you that are just catching on. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to verse 4. Mm -hmm. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, now notice something there. Cain brought a gift. Abel brought the first lane. Yes. Can I share with you the tithe is not a gift? Mm. Oh! Wow. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the tithe, tithe is not, not a, a gift. gift. Wow. Because, see, a gift really don't have to fit a pattern. Mm -hmm. mm. A gift is at your discretion. Mm. Yes, yes, it's yes. on your measurement, mm -hmm. not the measurement on the receiver. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. See, while one was bringing a gift, the other one was bringing the first link. And I don't know if you notice, and, and this is very powerful, I want anyone to type in the chat room, mm. the tithe is not a gift. That's so proud. <laughs> wow. Uh, Prophet Thompson, what do you want to yeah. say about that? Oh, that, Master Prophet. That, that like it got a hold of you just yes, now. Yes, Master Prophet. The tithe is not a gift. The first fruit is not a gift. It is the tithe. Mm -hmm. yes. Because, you know, when you bring the first fruit, that means nobody has touched anything as yet. Not only the fact that nobody has touched anything as yet, it's not like you go spending all the money and then, hey, God, look, 20 bucks is left. <laughs> Let me give you 20 bucks and see what you will do for me. I need a miracle in my finances. That won't work because in the, in the interim, you have robbed God of the first fruit. You have to give it up first. And when you give it up, everything matches accordingly thereafter. Wow. That's why he said, bring ye all oh. the tide into the stores that there might be meat. meat. You're trying to get fat when you haven't fed the process that brings the fat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, Cynthia. You know, I thought about that, the tide, because, you know, we say the tide is our tax for being on the planet. We just owe it. It's the first 10%. And it's like, you know, I have a renter, and they have to give me the rent each month. It's like them bringing me the rent and saying, here's a gift. It's not, it's not a gift. It's what you owe me. <laughs> you want to give me a gift, it's after what you owe me. God That's says good. we owe him ten, the first 10% mm. of everything that we make. So you can't give that to God and say, here's a gift. He's going to say, I'm not taking that. Give me what you owe me. Exactly. After you give me what you owe me, then you can talk about if you want to give me a gift. Amen. Give me the pattern of this yes. relationship. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like being in a relationship with a spouse and you sitting there saying, um, I, I paid the bills for the house this week. Yeah, but you cheated all week. <laughs> 
Mm. I didn't ask you to pay the bills. Well, you're not grateful to me because I, I covered your expenses this week. You're, you're missing the point. I'm not asking you to cover the expenses. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you to keep the basic pattern, yes. basic pattern. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. holds this situation together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so many of us want to have God on our terms, but not keep the pattern. Wow. Tithing is mm -hmm. a system. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. That's the pattern. Mm -hmm. And this is powerful. So, Master Prophet, yes. so it would seem that if we're not meeting our basic responsibility with the tithe, then the offering will become offensive and, and, and uh, stinks, almost disrespectful. <laughs> that you're just trying to throw an offering, but you didn't meet that basic responsibility of, of the tithe. Exactly. Well, you don't meet the basic responsibility. You know, you're trying, to get the, you're trying to get the gift to stick. Like, you know, let's say you owe the person $1,000 for rent. But you're sitting there saying, listen, I went down to the flower district and bought you some flowers. <laughs> Prophet Cynthia, mm -hmm. is that going to work? That is not going to work, Master Prophet. You're going to say, you but, don't say I, don't need, I don't want the flowers. Give me what you owe me. But these That's are right. some expensive flowers. Mm -hmm. They're exotic and they're rare. I, I don't want the flowers. I need the rent. Give me what you owe me, and then we'll talk about a gift. But I just <laughs> got back from... Florida, and I saw a vase that's worth about mm -hmm. four thousand dollars, and I gave, and I want to give you the vase. Not acceptable. I'm still waiting for my money. <laughs> <laughs> first thing first. Right. First things first. I like that best. You're waiting for the pattern. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. To be complete. Yes. And so what we're seeing here is that Cain wanted to substitute the pattern, mm -hmm. and I want you to ask yourself the question and I want you to type it inside the chat room. Wow. And, and, and you know, Master Prophet, I'm um, looking at in the process of time, it came to pass, it came brought the first fruit. Could it be also that um, after a while, like after he done looked over and got the best, it was like mm -hmm. he gave God the leftover. So let me, it was an afterthought, but it wasn't the first thought. It wasn't the first thing. <laughs> he paid some bills first, and he took care of some other things first. It was an afterthought. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's why I want to ask the question inside the chat room from everybody. Am I representing mm. or substituting? Mm. That's powerful. Wow. Are you representing God's system by the tithe and the offering, or are you substituting mm. by giving God what you think he deserves? Say, here, here's $5, God. I mean, this is enough that the church can use this, and I'm fine. You're fine, and take this, and you need to be thankful because I could have given you nothing. Mm -hmm. So here's $5. The secret is, is it the system? Okay, so read on Prophet Cynthia. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereafter. Wait a minute. He brought the what? The firstlings. firstlings. Which is a tithe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then. Of his flock. Uh huh. And of the fat thereafter. There's the offering. Thereof. There's the offering. Mm -hmm. See, the tithe is the firstling. Mm -hmm. mm. And the offering is the excess. Yes. The, yes. the fat good. thereof. Mm -hmm. So the tithe and the offering. So, if you want to bring a gift, make sure the tithe precedes it. Yes. Yes. So, yes. it becomes the tithe and, and the offering. Yes. The thing that was missing with Cain was he the brought tithe. an offering but mm -hmm. left out the tithe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's called Perfect. substituting the system. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes, Prophet Thompson. You know, Master Prophet, that is so awesome as we are looking at this unfolding revelation of understanding the importance of the tithe. Because, you know, bringing the first fruit opens a whole new avenue in the flow of what comes behind. Yes. You know, it, it brings you all kind of an uncommon favor like it did for me on yesterday. Amen, amen. What do you like to say about this, Prophet Deborah? You know, again, Master Prophet, the tithe. See, when, when we honor God with the tithe, I mean, we, he opens the windows of heaven. He opens and pours out 
a blessing for us that we won't even have room enough to receive. God wants us to give to him.